Yeah, no, suit. Yeah, sorry, mate. Sorry to let you down. Nah, just uh, actually, my manager asked me to get my sizes for for a suit, and I just didn't did get didn't get around to it. So, so it's my fault. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have had a custom suit ready for you. But oh well, next time. We'll get over it. We'll get over it. What's, what's it? We're, we're asking everybody, of course, what this week has been like. You know, all the adjustments that have been made, the mindset. So, what's this experience been like for you? Oh, mindset's not going to. Uh, you know, that's not going to change. You know, I'm gonna. I'm still preparing for the fight. It hasn't really messed with the preparation too much. We just flew in today. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't have done much today anyway. So it's not that bad when it comes to preparation and obviously mental state. I'm, gonna, I'm you know, I still got a job to do and I'm focused on that. But you know, it's a bit disappointing for the family and and friends and stuff like that. Um, obviously, there's going to be taxes and things like that, that we're going to have to worry about. But right now, I've got a job to do, so I'll just do that. But then I'll have a have a whinge about it after that, maybe. Did you guys have like hotels booked and stuff and like? Yeah, yeah, we had, yeah, well, I did. Yeah, um, some of it was able to you know get refunds and stuff like which was good but it's just little things that are just annoying and, and that you had to change and and obviously then there's um you know friends and supporters that i don't even know what's happening with them i really don't know so um they're probably still stuck in vegas and i don't even know if they're going to make it but um i'll have to worry about that after the fight <laughs> you called for this fight what uh did you know something that we didn't know at the time or did you have to talk into it no 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 well it's just you know, I, I knew that. Yeah, again, I wanted to. You know, I want to shoot for these ranks. I've always said that, and I knew that after you know he got suspended, and I knew if he got a win, he'll be ranked really high. Either whether I believe he deserves that or not, as I said then, um, I knew that that'll be the case, and it's exactly what happened. And that's why you know it was a bit of a you know strategy towards that call out. I got what I wanted. Um, had to throw a bit of a you know, his name in the dirt a little bit, but to get it, but it worked. So maybe I'm going to have to do that from now on. We'll see. So what's the feeling like right now? I mean, does this feel like? I mean, this is a big name, big stage. I mean, does this feel like the moment that, that you announce to the world, like I'm I'm for real? Yeah, I know it's the moment, but right now everything feels the same. You know, I've prepared. I'm always more than ready for for my fights. Um, this time I had an even bigger camp and everything went really smooth. I'm peaked right at this, the right time. So. Mate, it's it's unreal, and I just you know it's a big opportunity for me, and I'm going to capitalise, and you know everyone will know who I am Saturday night. It's interesting. You said you know whether you feel he deserves that ranking or not. When you say that, do you mean because the suspension, well, because of his skill level now? Or no, what? no, no. Obviously, he deserves to be, to be up there. He's you know he's only lost to the greats, um, Chad Mendes. I know you know it's still going to be a tough fight, um, but at the same time, you know again you know he you know he got caught doing something, and uh, he I knew that he would walk straight back into the rankings. I just I just know know, know how it works. But um, again that's why I called him out. But again, yeah, he's only lost to the greats, so you know, nothing nothing taken away. But I don't think his passion's there like it used to be. And um, you know, if you know we're going you know our styles, we're gonna we're gonna cancel a lot of things out. So I think I'm gonna catch him because of that. If not, like I said, I just don't think his head's in the game like it used to be. I think I'm gonna bring him into deep waters if it goes that long. A lot of people have been skeptical surrounding the legitimacy of Jones's innocence claim. Has that in any way changed your outlook on this fight with Mendes, considering the suspension that he got? Like, um, maybe, you know, could be worse, but things aren't known? Um, look, again, I'm, I try not to think about that, all that stuff too much, but uh, with what's going on, you know, I've, I don't really believe what he's saying anyway, but and I don't believe what Chad would be saying either, but at the same time... Yeah, who cares? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, you know, I still think they could do whatever they want. I'm still gonna be stronger than them on the day. So I believe I'm the pound for pound strongest guy in, in in the UFC, and I'm gonna show that Saturday night. Well, how do you go about beating about uh, beating Mendes? As you said, he's only lost to the greats, and yep. you know, he's a, obviously a big step up in competition for you. What what holes is it that you see that ever opponent has? Well, again, I'm, we're gonna be we're gonna be scrambling. It's gonna be a battle. I know it's gonna be all over the place very early. And it's gonna. And I'm a powerful puncher. He's a powerful puncher. But I've trained with so many guys like him. You know, I know he's a. I know he's fought the best. But at the same time, he's a very explosive wrestler. I've, I've I've trained with thousands of guys like that, and I always do good against them. And I always slow them down real quick. So that's what I'm expecting to do. And then that's where I think I'm going to catch him as well. Where there's going to be scrambles, and yeah, I won't I won't give away too much. But that's that's where I think I'm going to get him. When you say he's only lost to the greats, is that a, is that a play on your nickname there? Hey, well, there you go. See, always give myself a plug wherever I can. But uh, you know, that's that just puts me. You know, he's only lost to the greats, and then on the weekend, there's never another great that he loses to. So, there you go. You, you done it for me, hey? What do you think that was? Yeah. Uh, 
how we were taking what do you think of that? Oh, that was unreal. You know, it was an unreal fight. Um, I was in New Zealand at the time prepara- in preparation for this fight. And, um, yeah, at one of the boys' house and, mate, it was unreal. Yeah, I love him. Even Max Holloway, you know, as a fighter, you know, I've got a lot of respect for him. He's a gamer. The way he is, like, he didn't, he could have copped way less damage if he wanted, but that's not his style. His style's come forward, come forward. But that's why I believe guys like me, Chad Mendes, Frankie Edgar have really bad matchups for him. And, um, you know, that's why I really think if I do what I'm planning on doing and I guarantee it's going to happen, I'm going to be calling him out, and I reckon that's going to be coming very soon. I, I guarantee you that them short little stocky wrestlers are uh, his, his worst nightmare, just purely because he's such a gamer, and he's going to stick to his guns, and I just think that that's not a good idea. Your division's kind of on fire now, like we had Holloway Ortega, we had Korean Zombie against Rodriguez. You know, do you feel like you're going to continue some of that featherweight momentum? Yeah, 100%. You know, mate, you've got to tune into this fight. You've got, again, two little, what I say, Battle of the Hobbits this weekend, you know what I mean? So... <laughs> It were two little stocky guys that know how to throw, you know what I mean? Usually I can control where the, where the fight goes and sort of bully my way into things. That might, that, you know, that's not going to happen, you know, it might not, but I won't be surprised if I am still way too powerful for him. But I'm expecting it to be fireworks, so you're going to see a lot more hands thrown and uh, expect, a, expect a bang. John Jones has an adverse finding. There's, there's still some steroid metabolites still in his system. If that was Alexander Volkanovsky who had still steroid metabolism system, would the UFC and, and USADA be treating you the same way that they're treating John Jones? Are you trying to get me in trouble now? What do you know? <laughs> um, Just asking for honesty. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they'll change an event for me, that's for sure. Let's just le- I'll leave it at that. They will not change an event for me. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not. That's how you know you made it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, mate, oh, I don't know. It comes down to don't just... Eat pro. You want protein? Eat some fucking eggs. Stop fucking taking supplements for fuck's sake. Anyway, that's my take on the whole supplement thing. And people want to blame this, want to blame that. Don't touch nothing. Then you won't have to worry. That's what I'm scared of. Everything, so I don't touch nothing. We good? All right. Thank you.